Yo, what's up, swag? Then you already know it. Your boy Keon Lauren, aka KL Swag, back here with a video, man. Look, man, it's a lot that's been going on with John Morant, bro. And I ain't gonna lie, you guys. Um, before we even start the video and stuff like that, I literally just posted three videos already, so check those out, man. Um, and then I'm damn near posting like two or three more, bro. Like it's so much going on, so much I, uh, you guys want me to react to, bro. So I got you. Just you know, I'm trying to you know you know drop them and stuff like that. And I got you guys for tomorrow too, man. It's a lot that's going on and stuff with the free agency and this and that, this content, that basketball, this and that. It's a lot. So y'all might be getting like six to eight reactions probably like tomorrow or something, bro. I know I gotta um make sure I post on my second channel as well, man. Oh, um, that's swag vlogs. Make sure you go subscribe to that one, swag vlogs. But anyways, man, let's get into it. Other people, do I personally believe that losing the Powerade sponsorship or advertisement is a major blow to John? He said, "It's a shooter club." But here's something you need to pay attention to and keep your eyes on. Normally, when a big time athlete loses one brand deal, the other companies they tend to follow. That picture went viral. It's kind of funny how life works. I think I said this last time when we was talking about the John Morant situation. When things are going good and you're like, man, there's no way it can get better in this. It somehow, some way gets better. However, on the flip side, when things are going bad and you're like, man, it can't get any worse than this. It somehow, some way gets worse. I've been in situations just like that myself. When you're already down, life's like, no, nah, you're not getting up and it continues to kick you. And I think a lot of you can relate to that as well. And if you can't relate to it, well, I think the only problem is you're too young. Getting on track here with our main character, you know what we're going to talk about. It seems like it's another day, another John Morant video. And trust me, I can't even believe we're talking about this guy yet again, but there's so much stuff going on. I started off the video by saying life continues to kick you when you're down because that's what it feels like is happening to Mr. John Morant. And what's even so bizarre about the situation is all of this started happening, all of this started unfolding because he flashed a gun on Instagram Live. That's it. Something as small, something as stupid as hitting that go live button on Instagram has led to where we are now. The butterfly effect is crazy to say the least. And oh yeah, by the way, we're not doing no intro, none of that corny stuff. We only got one topic and one player to go over, and that is John Morant. However, I do want to say, and I've been forgetting to say this really the past couple of weeks and month, if you're new to the channel or simply you've been watching and you're not subscribed, consider joining our community. We would love to have you here, and it really helps on the channel and means a lot to me when we gain new subscribers because it lets me know that there's new people coming to the channel that are enjoying the content. Our community is rather simple. We're just react, a bunch of guys and some girls, by the way, shout out to to the female viewers that like sports. So if you do like college football, college basketball, some NFL and NBA content here and there, consider joining. If you don't want to join, that's cool too. All right, Matt, by the bush, I'm crap up. Now without further ado, let's cut it out. Okay, where do y'all want to start off first? Because we not only got one John Morant situation to talk about, we got two. You know what? I just said we'd go off in order in which both of these events happen. If you're watching this video and you haven't been living under a rock, I shouldn't have to explain what happened with John Moran. He was in the club, him and his friends, they were getting turned, whatever, and then he flashed the heater on Instagram Live. And when I say heater, that's not what I actually call guns. I'm more so of making fun of the people saying, John Moran had that blicky on him. He was toting that heater, blah, blah, blah. You know how it goes. We know that. However, yeah. the club he was at, or whoever was involved in it, they have a release pictures of when John Morant was there that night. And I got to be honest with all of you, I'm not too sure how I feel about it because one side of me is going, hey, that's got to be some type of invasion of privacy, right? But at the same time, I'm like, well, I guess it's not an invasion of privacy because everybody's recording everything nowadays. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section how you feel about it where things get tricky though is i've seen some people say hey the club they didn't release these pictures directly the cops when they were doing an investigation they asked for the pictures and the cops released the pictures i'll speak more on that in just a second i'm going to show you this first picture and as you can see yes all that confetti looking stuff that is money my immediate reaction is when i first saw this is john moran and these people that go to these clubs and do this they have way too much money and that's just stupid to do that i don't care what any of you try to that's say crazy. you're gonna say oh matt well that's nothing john John Morant, I don't care. That is the stupidest way to spend your money. Do you guys never. see how much money is on the floor? There's so much money on the floor. He had to start throwing it on the other stuff like the nightstands and the, I guess you'd call that sofas. That's too much money. I don't care what any of you say. You can have fun, but I just think that's a little overboard. But yeah. anyways, as you can see right here, I have to blur this out because, yeah, it's a, uh, it's a bad photo to say at least. But I have to blur it out. This blue dot you see right here, 
Yeah, that's John ja Morant. Why don't we zoom in on that? I'm going to show you John ja Morant. So you can see John ja Morant. He's in jeans, doesn't have shirt on. And the blue part, I have to blur out. Ticket. Yeah, that is a girl. And I always like to be transparent with all of you guys. I, myself, I've never been to a club and I have no... Wait, I can't really see because I know how YouTube is and he scratched it up. But is the nigga getting head? John ja Morant. I, wait. The no intentions of ever going it's, it's just, just not, not my, my thing. thing i don't like to go to clubs and i don't like to party but and i have a big butt i understand there's many people out here that like to do that and i don't think there's nothing like going, like he... going to a club and having some fun I'm mature enough to understand, hey, just because I don't like something and just because I wouldn't do it, it doesn't mean other people, they don't like it and they wouldn't enjoy it. So I did want to make that clear. I don't have a problem with John Morant having fun. Y'all let me know down below in the comments. I can't really tell you that. guy who has a contract that's over I'm going to look on Twitter, bro. I'm going to look on Twitter. Including all of his sponsors. Speaking of sponsors, <laughs> we'll talk about that in just a second as well. I'm going to look on Twitter right now. Track here, you see John Morant, all the money and whatnot. And one thing that caught my eye as well. Look at all this food that's just sitting here. Can some of y'all imagine how it must feel to be that rich where more than likely every look. club or every place John Moran goes into, he's like, oh, yeah, he looks at the menu and goes, give me one of everything. I'm going to try everything out. Okay, so never mind. If I ever got that. Okay, never mind. Yeah, basically, he just sitting there. Because I was about to say, bro, I know damn well he not getting, he not getting no damn hit in front of, like, everybody, bro. It's wild. Um, basically, it's just a female she bent over and she like twerking on him and stuff like that. I couldn't really tell at first, bro. That was weird as hell. That ridge, that's something I would say. do money. I wouldn't go to the clubs and throw 25K, 30K on the ground. <laughs> I'd look at the menu and say, yep, give me one of everything. I'm going to try it out. To me, that would be the coolest thing about being wealthy is not having to worry about food or when I that's go to crazy. the grocery store, not having to worry about, okay, I can get this, but I can't get that. You see all the food and whatnot. I'm going to show you. I'm going to zoom in just to prove to you guys, yes, this is money. It's definitely a lot of money because, as you see right here, you can't even see the floor. I'm going to say a bare minimum, this money is at least two to three inches high. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on. I know what you're sitting there saying. Yo, Matt, well, what's the big deal about this? He went to the club. That's normal. And I agree. I was saying the same thing. A lot of people are saying, well, this is just normal activity. This isn't bad whatsoever, and yada, yada, yada. I'm Sorry, not going to read off all the replies because there's so many but the reason i'm showing you this is because well number one it's going viral and number two there's a lot of mixed reactions just from this one tweet alone it's got over 40 million views Damn. what's got everybody talking and worked up about it is they can't believe the club leaked these photos or whoever leaked them yeah. i'm just gonna say the club leaked them because how else would anybody get them they had to leak them to somewhere even if it was to the police for example Dion sanderson said this is lame as heck that club foul for that bro blew a bag in y'all club and y'all released pictures of the man i like this though and it's my entire point you gotta move a little smarter too he's john morant lol he ain't a regular person. Shut up, shut up, shut up. I know you're about to go to the comment section and say, well, Matt, he can't have fun. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm advocating for him. He can have, have fun. fun. He's got to be smart. smart. And I'm not just referring to this. I just mean heading forward in his career. But here's another one people are saying. Bro, police went there to investigate, snatched them tapes as evidence, and leaked the pics. Cops making that extra bag of pics for decades. Here's what Stephen A. Smith said, and he got over 13 million views as well. What Watch 100 plus channels and enjoy cable free live TV. Well, that, hey man, TV shout out to Matt. Be great, bro. Radiance. In the, in, the, in the past, but I'll be more consistent. What do people think happens there? Why is a club releasing these? Feels like a massive invasion of privacy. And that's what I was thinking originally, like I already said. Continuing along, why would any big spenders go there ever again? And I also agree. Why would anybody in the NBA, NFL go to that club? I don't even know what the name of it is, but why would they go there knowing they released these pictures of John Morant? Heck, I can't speak for you, but I can speak for me. If I did go to clubs, I wouldn't go back there. Last but not least, though, here's the final thing we're going to say about this picture being leaked out. So the owner said that John Morant spent over 50 thousand dollars on tips fifty thousand dollars crazy quote unquote he stated this kid real young was exceptionally respectful and sweet and he did not drink he's marvelous and i saw a lot of people hyping this up saying yep that proves that john Morant's this great person he's this or he's that and my immediate reaction to it was dude he spent fifty thousand dollars at this dude's club you really expect him to say something bad about for him? real I'm like what you must not know business 101 if somebody spends fifty thousand dollars at your business i highly doubt you're gonna say something bad about him 
I feel like John Morant could have done something terrible there, and the guy still would have said this. And key word is tips. That's not even counting all the money he threw out and probably the food. John Morant spent $50,000 in tips, and I guarantee you the owner is taking some percentage of that. And $50,000 in tips, that's 100% profit. It's like a donation. With all that nonsense going on, with the pictures going viral for better or for worse, me personally, I don't think it's a good deal. Recently, Coca-Cola, which owns Powerade, by the way, they have pretty much said, yep, we're no longer doing the ad we were going to do with John Morant. In other terms, John Morant has lost his Powerade sponsorship, at least for now. At this point in time, I'm asking you guys a genuine question. Is anybody shocked that John Morant lost his Powerade sponsorship? I'm not. You almost had to see us coming a thousand miles away. To go on top of the brandishing a gun thing, there's so many other stories coming out about John Morant. It's the same thing like I said at the start of this video. They're trying to kick a man when he's down. I'm wishing John Morant the best of luck. Look, yes, he's a certified cornball. He's been acting weird. He Man. wants to be a gangster and all that, but deep down, I think he's a great kid. I think he's yeah. a great kid that is unfortunately hanging around the wrong people, and that can mess your life up. I just wish for his own sake and good, he would quit trying to act like something he's not. Mm -hmm. And even if he once was that, which I don't think he was, but let's say he was, there's no reason to act that way anymore. You're a millionaire. You're in the NBA, bro. You don't have to act like a gangster. The big question following Power Raid's announcement is, okay, is he going to lose his big one, and that's Nike? And I don't think so. I don't think he's going to lose Nike because, number one, Nike already came down and released a statement. And number two, I think Nike's looking at this going, yeah, he's a young kid. He messed up. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt. However, if he messes up again, yeah, we're going to terminate our contract. I'm not going to try to overhype this situation Damn. like many other people. Do I personally believe that losing the Powerade sponsorship or advertisement is a major blow to John Morant? No, I do not. But here's something you need to pay attention to and keep your eyes on. Normally, when a big-time athlete loses one brand deal, the other companies, they tend to follow. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but keep your eyes on it. You know I'm going to keep you guys updated. Let me know your thoughts down below. But, uh, Man. See y'all in the next video, man. John Moran got to chill.